All right, guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, so basically what Ms. Jacobs and I are, are going to show you right here is a life example of what you saw in the previous example. So uh, in the previous activity, we did uh, water and ethanol and as a liquid, and we showed you what happens when you mix uh, two different types of liquids together. They don't necessarily always equal the calculated value that you were expecting. So then we had you uh, do a simulation, and this right here is going to try to represent the simulation. So I have 500 mils of sand and 500 mils of marbles. Uh, this is supposed to be representing uh, the water molecules, or the water, and this is supposed to be representing the ethanol molecules, or particles, I should say. So when you uh, look at your simulation, you'll notice that the ethanol uh, particles are larger and the water particles are smaller. So what we're going to do is we're going to take um, the marbles and the sand and if they're both 500 it should equal a thousand. That's what it should equal, right? So we'll see what happens. So dump the marbles in here without Five hundred, and now we're going to dump five hundred mils of sand, and this should go all the way to a thousand. Let's see what happens. So we have marbles or ethanol, and now we're going to use sand, or in this example, it was water. Mr. Gilbert's doing his best to shake this up just like we did in our actual experiment. Let's take a look. So, it should equal a thousand, right? Can we grab that purple sheet of paper, Mr. Gilbert? Here you go. There we go. There's your answer, folks. That's definitely not a thousand. So, why does this happen? You guys should be able to tell us, using your knowledge, why this happens. So, answer this for me. Does water and ethanol, aka liquids, do they follow the particle model or the continuous model? Hopefully this helps you understand which model is correct and why. 